Hey guys, thanks for joining in and welcome to this week's Dollar Tree video. Uh, right here at the front of the store in the seasonal, I found these little chalkboard coffins. They also had the regular coffin shape with some a different a couple different scenes here. They had the one with the crow, and then they also had one with the book stack. Um, I have to dig hair through to get it. My store was getting slim on them. This was the last one they had with the book stack. Hanging on a clip strip, they had these pumpkin shaped pot holders. You do only get one in the pack where normally we get two of the pot holders. There's only one here and they are 100% cotton. They had these hand painted um, pumpkins. They are white or orange that have the haunted house scene with the bats. I thought these were really cute. The uh, orange pumpkin is a little bit taller and the white one is a little bit shorter. They had these ceramic eyeballs. They had them in black, blue, and then they also had a green down here. Then they had these little bead strands with live and love on there with the little house shapes. I thought those were really cute. And they had these little vases. They have the clear, the smoky clear, or the orange. And then they had these little tea light holders with the ghost or the pumpkin. Don't worry, I do show you the Frankenstein a little bit later. I was going around. This is the little glass shelf at the front of my store. Um, that has several different ones there and they had these candle holders with the bats cat and witch they do hold the tall candlesticks they had the twist candles there as well as a new leaf holder or leaf candle holder here's the black taper candles um, that's the first time i found these and then they had a few of the glass scented glass jar scented candles they had lavender cinnamon um, a few other scents there they, here they had the tea light candle holders that are pumpkin shaped. They had the sage, the burnt orange, yellow, and regular orange. They had some four inch um, glitter pillar candles. They had it in red, orange, yellow, and blue. They had this three pack of the pumpkin tea lights. Um, you do get three orange ones. They also have them in the leaf. and the leaf one you get three different colors. I think these are really cute for fall. They also have the regular leaf candle. And then they also had the owl and the pumpkin shape. We've seen these before, um, but I think they kind of mix up the colors sometimes. So here we have some of the um, Halloween gnomes. These are different than the ones we found in the plus section. These are the traditional size that we see for every holiday. Um, but these do go fast, so if you see these and you want one, make sure you grab them because when you go back, they'll be gone. Here they had some new solar lights. These do come with the stake. And you just take the top off here, or I'm sorry, it's in the bottom. You just flip it around. So they do come with the stake. They had it in the orange. Um, they had purple and then white. Sorry, I had to dig for the purple one. They must have been a popular color. They also have these solar lights that have the pumpkin cutouts on the side. Then they have these faux books. Um, these are really cute. I only found two at my store. Typically these come in a three, like three different ones. So my store may have had the third one and they just sold out of them. I just wanted to show these to you so you could keep an eye out for these. These look great on a fireplace or as a book stack on your coffee table. They also have the lace table runner back. Um, this one has the, it looks like a, a spider web with spiders on it. We have seen this in the past, but I wanted to take a minute and show them to you because the same thing is selling at Hobby Lobby for $9.99. So if you see these for $1.25, de definitely snatch them up. That's a really good deal, and they're they're really well made. I've had one for this would be my third year, and I I lay it out on my fireplace on the mantel. Here they have the skeleton or skull heads of, of the tea light holder or tea light candle. I'm sorry, I cannot talk today. Here is the Frankenstein candle holder. Then they also have three little ghosts for the tea lights. They had these wooden shaped bead pumpkins. They had blue, orange, uh, sage green color, and then a natural wood bead one. I thought these were really cute. 
As you can see from the box there, they do go fast, so make sure you grab them if you see them. Here's the natural wood bead one. They have these little shelf sitters, that's what I call them. They're little um, figurines, but I think the tag says it's an ornament. They had several different styles here. Um, they have like the Frankenstein, the witch, the bat. One of them looks like a penguin to me, that one. There's the Frankenstein one. I think these would be really cute on a chair tray. While I got you here, I want to thank everybody for joining in this week. Make sure you like and subscribe. That's what helps the channel to grow. And then they have these marquee lights. Um, they had it in a ghost or a pumpkin shape. Uh, these do not come with the battery, so make sure you see what, what size battery they take and grab those while you're out. They do have an on and off switch on the back, so you don't they don't have to stay on. You can turn them on as needed. And they have a, a hanger on the back where, or a spot where you can hang a nail or screw and hold it up on the wall if you want to, or they can sit on a shelf. They have these little wooden lanterns that we've seen before. Um, they had the orange and then the purple. The orange, the last time that I was at my store, they didn't have the orange, they did have the purple. So I wanted to show you the orange. The purple has the witch. These do come with the battery, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, they have a little on and off switch on the bottom. Here they have this little spell bottle decor piece, and then they have the luminaries, which I showed you last week. They have this little ceramic ghost. This was the only one on the shelf. It does light up, and it does come with the battery. Um, the colors change on the light, so it, it's one of the. It doesn't stay white. And since next month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, um, they do have an end cap of their breast cancer items. They have everything from car magnets to dish towels, ink pens, keychains, notebooks, mugs, cups. Um, you name it, they have it. These would be great if you have someone in your life who is a survivor or is currently battling breast cancer. My prayers are with you. It's not easy. I, breast cancer has touched my family, many members of my family. My, my mom has um, three sisters and all three sisters have either had breast cancer or had the, the genes. And on my dad's side, I have one aunt that had breast cancer. So I have definitely seen what it can do. And uh, my hats are off to anybody who's fought it. It's a hard battle, but you can do it. Uh, these little journals here are a great gift for if you know somebody who is currently battling breast cancer. Um, they are a great idea to give someone, especially to write down questions if they have a doctor's appointment. You get overwhelmed, and then you leave the doctor's office, and you're like, oh, I should have asked about, you know, whatever. So you can write those questions down, and when you go back to the doctor, you can refer to that notebook and get answers to the questions that you had. It's also a great way to journal and get out your feelings. Um, whether you share it with someone else or not, what you're facing is something that's scary, and, you know, you're definitely going to have questions and thoughts, and it's a great way to um, share that get it out not necessarily have to share it but get it out write write the words down and you know put your thoughts into words so um a lot of items here where you can make a, a gift basket for someone who is battling breast cancer another thing that you could grab if you decide to do that is peppermints i know when my grandma went through breast cancer through the the chemo treatments as she said the chemo dried her mouth out really bad and the peppermints helped with that so um, there's definitely some items you can make to make a nice little gift basket for someone who's going through a very difficult time. And you don't know what something like that could mean to somebody just to know that someone's thinking of them and, you know, pushing, pushing them on so and supporting them. Sorry, I rambled. Breast cancer is one of those that has touched my family and it's very near and dear to my heart. Um, and I pray that we can find a cure. Moving on to the crafter square section, we have quite a few new items here. They have the sequins. Um, these are the ones where you, if you rub up, it changes color. 
so one color like right now that's blue it, it turns to silver the gold I think turns to black so def several different colors and styles they also have a lot of new macrame and cross stitch kits um, some of these they come with everything that you need or, or the crochet kit they come with everything you need to make that item so that one comes with everything you need to make that unicorn or the little beer or whatnot they do have it'll say on the packaging if they are beginner or advanced which I think is amazing um, so if you're a beginner if you're not if you're new to crochet it's a little bit easier and then they have I think uh, medium and advanced so there's several different stages there a lot of new cross stitch kits several different styles they even have the diamond painting so a lot of new uh, crafters items making it to the Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five all of this stuff is dollar twenty-five my stores are plus stores but I don't show you that stuff until the end of the video if I show you any of it at all because I know not everyone has a plus store so I don't want to show you items that are not relevant here they had some new wood rounds they have the mermaid the sun the tree of life and then also the mountain scene on the front there these are untreated so you can stain them or paint them they also had the blank wood rounds those are hard to find so if you see them and you want them make sure you grab them and then the three wooden dice as well they had some new reed pieces mine only has it's a four piece set mine only has the white flowers i'm not sure if they come in a different color but i wanted to show those to you i've never used those for crafting but i know some people do they have new earring finding kits they have them in silver and gold and then they have their bracelet and necklace finding kit in silver and gold as well they do come with a little craft case which is great so because those are little pieces you don't want to lose lots and lots of new beads at dollar tree you get three packs in this one so you, in three different colors so you get 30 of each one then they have the polymer clay beads in several different colors you get 110 per pack then you have some of the um, like silicone beads these soft beads that have the like rainbow or tie-dye effect um, they have glass mosaic they have the black, white, gray. They have the blue or pastel. Let's just call that pastels. Then they have the orange, yellow, clear, which is like the fall one to me. Here's some of the diamond painting sheets. Um, they have several different ones. The tiger one I think is really cute. Um, and then I'll show you the, the back here. So that's what it looks like when you complete it. I've never done diamond painting, so... I know everyone tells me how relaxing it is. Maybe I should try it. Here they have some pigment ink. They have it in a few different colors for resin. They have it in red, blue, yellow, and green. I've never used resin, so I can't tell you. I don't know how much this normally is. It's just something that i seen that was new at my store, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, for all I know, this could be cheaper at Hobby Lobby, but... I am not sure. I'm, I'm not familiar with this product. I just wanted to show you that it is now available at Dollar Tree. They also had the mix-ins here for the resin. Um, some of them are multicolored. Some of them are silver and gold, or you have silver or gold. This pack here, some of them are different shapes, like they have music notes. Um, this right here, I was not familiar with this. I'm not sure what you do with it, but it was new. It's fusible interfacing. I wanted to take a minute to show it to you. They have the monogram kits, which we've seen those before. They have these iron-on patches. You do get three to five patches in each pack, depending on the size of the patch. Um, that one is actually only one. You have flowers and um, feathers. You have dinosaurs mermaids space um, sea life that nemo or i'm sorry that orange white fish reminds me of nemo it's not nemo it's not branded as nemo but it reminded me of nemo here you have the space ones i have not used these so i'm not sure how well they stick if you have comment down below and let me know how well they adhere to the items um, i know some people use them and add them to a jean jacket or a book bag lunch box 
different things like that. So if you have used them and they've held up well, comment down below and let my viewers know because I haven't used them. We have the mermaid one, the butterflies, bees, and ladybugs. They have these uh, foil cardstock. You, you do get eight sheets. And then they have this vellum paper. I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with that. You do get um, six sheets. They're all the same. So you'll get six that's the black and white stripe with the hearts. They have these little cardstock or crafting paper pack cardstock books like they have at Hobby Lobby. They have three different prints. Uh, Michaels and Hobby Lobby sells these for around $5.99 a pack. You do get 24 sheets in each of these little books. So I wanted to show these to you. These are six inches by six inches. They have these little ceramic houses. They have three different styles in my store. Um, these would be great for uh, making gingerbread houses during Christmas time. You could um, paint them to make them into your little Christmas village. They do have a hole in the front. Um, I'm not sure if, I guess like a birdhouse, but I don't, I don't know if you'd actually use it for a birdhouse, but I wanted to show them to you. They have these little photo frames that are on a pedestal with the tacks around it. They have these new welcome and Wi-Fi password chalkboard signs that are on a pedestal. And then they also have these new wall decals. This is all in the, the new home decor. They have these vases here. They are clear orange or like a smoky charcoal color. These are about five inches tall. They're pretty good size around. They have these new signs here, kitchen closed or kitchen open with the um, mixer and family gathers here with welcome to our home. Uh, I have seen these signs before at Hobby Lobby and Walmart. They are right around seven to nine dollars, I believe. So for $1.25, I feel like that's a really good deal and they do have their own little stand there. They have these four by four photo frames. They have it in gold or black. Again, these are a four by four frame. So definitely keep an eye out for those. They had some new candlesticks or pillars. They had several different styles and colors. Um, some of them are two-toned, some of them are solid color. Um, there's a white one there that has some gold specks. The bottom shape is different on some of them some of them it's round some of it is square so keep an eye out for those depending on what style you're going for they again they had several different colors they do have the blue and white i also found a black and a matte finish uh, most of these have a glossy finish i did find the black there over in the book section and i apologize because i somehow hit the slow-mo button but i i do fix that here shortly um, but over here in the book section they do have this new uh, multi cooker food recipe book it has several baby recipes in it as well as snack and dinner ideas so I wanted to take a moment to show you these um, some of these books can get very expensive some of them retail for around um, 20 to 30 dollars the most expensive one I have found was 38.95 and every store gets different books so if you have four stores in your area make sure you check the book sec book section at each one because each store does get different books i found different authors at different stores i found very well-known authors agatha christie Nora roberts k hooper um, i found cookbooks autobiographies fiction you name it um each week it seems to rotate and they get new books in um some of them are worth more than others some of them are what more well known uh, but definitely for a dollar 25 these are great to pick up and donate to your local hospital or nursing home um, as well as the activity books that they carry they do have word searches crossword puzzles adult coloring books as well as ch children's coloring and activity books so definitely don't snooze on the book section for a dollar 25 you can't go wrong these make great gifts uh, they're great rainy day activities, so definitely keep an eye out on your book section. Again, I apologize. The slow-mo will end here shortly. There you go. 
and then they also had some Tonka design your own or decorate your own ambulance and then also the dump truck over in the toy section. It's, it's always exciting to find name brand items especially in the toy section perfect for adding to a stocking or donating to um, a local help house or shelter. Lots of new nail items. Um, these are different prints that we found and then that first one that I showed you was a hundred piece um, nail kit. It does come with the plastic container which is nice. Um, they do None of these include the glue so you do need to buy the glue separately but a lot of the times I can find the Kiss nail glue at Dollar Tree so definitely keep an eye out for that if you're going to buy any of the artificial nails. Over in the accessories I did find the Oscar Mayer um, socks here. They had several different styles. These are men's, um, but they don't fit like a men. I mean, I, I've, I've worn them. They're not huge. Um, there's the Oscar Mayer, the Twizzlers, the Pez, the Hershey Kisses, uh, the York Peppermint Patty, Corn Pops, Ritz, And they had the Old Bay seasoning there behind the Ritz. They also had Yoohoo and Pringles. And Frosted Flakes. Then I also found the Hostess Twinkies, the Heinz Tomato Ketchup, and Raisin Bran. They also had an A1 steak sauce stuck behind there as well. So definitely check behind them too. They had Apple Jacks as well as uh, the Bubble Yum gum. And then I was super excited to find this three pack of Margaritaville socks. They had it for both men and women. This is the men's version here. They are no show socks. Um, the men's here, they're all the same print. You'll see on the women's they're a little bit different. So here's the women's and you'll see when I turn it there are different patterns. So definitely for $1.25 snag these up. Again, great for gifts, stocking stuffers, um, add to a gift bag. They had these Lottie Da crew socks for women. Um, the, this is a new brand that I had not seen before at the Dollar Tree. Several different prints. Now you do have to keep an eye on these because some of them only had one pair and some of them did have two pairs. I'm not sure um, why why that is, but some only had one pair. Um, the packs that are two, you do get two pairs of the same sock, so it's not different in between there. They had a dolphin one hiding back there. And then I only found one pack, but they had a Marilyn Monroe adult sock with a furry sock for, for your furry friends. A pair of socks for your furry friends. So you get four of those socks for your cat or dog. Again, um, I think these retailed for $10.95. Uh, but my store only had the one pack. Over in the household goods, they did have this new Lemmy Shine disinfecting spray. This is a very good sized bottle. It is bleach free. It does say that it cleans and disinfects and does kill the common cold and viruses. So um, for $1.25, I'm not sure. I've never used it before, but I thought it was worth picking up, especially for the size. It seemed like a pretty good value. So if you have used it, comment down below and let me know what you thought about it. Then I also found these color changing tumblers. They did have the green, blue, and pink. Um, they come with the lid and the straw. The lid has the um, bubble around the bottom that keeps it from coming through the straw. So that's great for kids. I, did, I haven't tried them out, so I'm not sure if they're leak proof. But I thought for $1.25, my kids would get a kick out of them and my great nephew. I was excited to find this Simply Essentials um, turntable. It's basically what we would call a Lazy Susan. They're perfect to put in your cabinet. If you have your spices in your cabinet, you can turn it to get to something in the back instead of having to take everything down. And these are great for crafting as well. So for $1.25, definitely grab those. I also found these color changing mugs. The ones that I found were all um, dad themed. So I'm not sure if these are leftover from Father's Day 
or um, if that's just what they got in was the shipment for dad. So let me know if you find any in your stores if they're all dad or if you found some other styles. They had some Libby sauerkraut. Um, this is something that I buy uh, almost every trip to the grocery store because my husband loves sauerkraut on hot dogs, brats, burgers, you name it. I don't like it. But I'm always looking for it. Um, typically, my Dollar Tree does not carry sauerkraut, so I was excited to find it here. Libby's is a good brand. Dollar twenty-five isn't the greatest value, but it's convenient because it is there. My store also had a bag of quick oats. Um, they do normally have the old-fashioned oats, but not the quick ones. So I was excited to see the quick oats. They do have a resealable bag there at the top, which I thought was nice. Then I also found this um, nutastic nut spread, like a hazelnut spread. Um, it's very similar to Nutella. Um, Dollar Tree has had another brand, I believe it was Milligan's. I'll show you that here in a second. I'm not sure if this is going to replace Milligan's or if this is another product in addition to that, but I wanted to show it to you um, because it is new and I know a lot of people buy this to put on toast and whatnot for breakfast. So for $1.25, every little bit of savings in the grocery department helps out with the price of everything going up the way that it has. So I definitely wanted to show you that. And then here's the um, other one that we have been having had it in stock, which is the um, Madigan's, sorry, Madigan's hazelnut spread. Over in the hardware, they had these new um, cabinet handles or, or pools. They had a couple different sizes and colors. They had, this is the larger one. Um, they do come with all of the hardware that you need to install them. These are a matte black finish. And here's the smaller one. Um, these did not have measurements on them, so I'm not sure. I, if I had to guess, I would say the first one was four inches and the second one was three inches. They also have the gold color there. And then again in the hardware, they have these new work lights with a magnet. It has a hook on the top so that you can hang it. These are very bright, but I will say that the magnet isn't super strong. Um, I tried to stick it to my refrigerator and, and, and it wouldn't just hold itself up on its own. Um, but hanging it is not a problem. So definitely keep an eye out for these. Um, for $1.25, they're a great value and a great way to add light if you're working on something in the garage and need to be hands-free. So that is all for this Dollar Tree trip. Thank you guys for joining in and I'll see you next time.